please state your name and uh my name is Mike Hughes. I was the president of Assistance uh, Police Academy, the New York City uh, Police Department. All right. And you're a first responder? A first responder survivor. I was on the second tower when it collapsed. Okay. And that morning, uh, what happened, uh, it was the first day of school. We took our kids to school, got my kids off, uh, went up to northern Manhattan. When we got up there, we heard that a, um, a plane struck the towers. And we were able to see the towers from where we were. We saw a gray billow of smoke going up. So as we put on the news channel and another t uh, another radio and the thing, it says small twin engine aircraft had just crashed into the towers. So we said, all right, they'll take care of it, small little thing, whatever. We went on to do what we had to do. It was election day, we were going around the neighborhood, and uh, that's when we heard the second one uh, crashed. You know, so what we did, we responded straight down West Side Highway, which is right over here on our right. Got down there following some fire trucks, and we got there. And we just saw a massive exodus, exodus of people leaving towards uh, walking north. And you see the two towers, building one of smoke, everything. We got closer, you know, uh, saw the people jumping out the windows, two, five deep with the arms locked, like raindrops. You know what I mean? These people, two hours earlier, they're saying goodbye to the loved ones, see you home for dinner. An hour later, they were up here at work deciding which form of death to die from. Either dying from fire and not being recognized or, or, or jumping out the window and taking their lives before they could, their loved ones could find them. And I mean, to me, getting there, seeing this, I said, wow, what do I would do? You know, if that was me up there. Or the poor people, what are they thinking about, you know, to make that choice? So, well, we, as we were evacuating people, the South Tower collapsed. So there goes this big mushroom cloud, everyone's covered, choking, everything. We, get, we got out of that, we started helping the walk and wounded. Now everyone is covered in, in gray. You had black, white, Spanish, Hispanic, brown, Asian, yellow people. Everybody was the same color. We were all gray. We were like walking zombies, you know? And, and so you're seeing blood dripping on people, so we started helping people, getting them to ambulance, telling the rest of the people just walk north, because that's where you saw daylight, you saw blue sky. As we continued doing that, we found another guy, he was a heavy guy. We got him towards an ambulance and I heard a big crunching sound. It was an antenna, over 300 foot antenna crunching in and the towers come pancaking down, one floor at a time. Boom, 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 boom. You got 110 stories that came down in 12 seconds. One building, the other came down in 10 seconds. What can you decide to do within that few moments? As I heard that, we got the guy, said, God, take care of my wife and two kids and get over with quick for me. And I'm just ready to take off. And a fireman came and said, get under the car. And we got underneath the, the ambulance. And within that time, that's when the, all the dust, everything, all the debris came around us. Um, we were able to get out safely, you know, minutes later, whatever. And, uh, you know, and the rest of the day I spent down there, you know, searching for people, putting search uh, parties together. And, uh, right. have, you, have you experienced any health problems since then? Yeah, I mean, my, my breathing, you know, uh, my lungs, uh, my liver, I had problems with my liver and everything. I got medical treatment, but at this point, you know, I just thank God, you know, for, for a day at a time, you know. Uh, the government, they're doing what they got to do. I know that a lot of guys uh, aren't getting the right treatment. Uh, there's a lot of phonies out there. And people that are claiming stuff, getting money and everything, you know, you know and, and, and that's not right. I think there should be a big investigation for each individual, where they were, who they were, what they responded to. Instead of these people coming out of woodwork from different states and everything else that are coming ahead. I know people that collected money and, and, and claiming that they were there and they weren't, you know. So this is the shit that pisses me off. Exactly. <clears throat> do, you, do you believe that your health problems are directly related to the dust and all the parts. Of course, parts. because I know that from the first day when we were there, I said, this is, is, is crazy because if you look at a building, an office building, you see everything that's in there, from the sheetrock to the metal that holds the sheetrock, you know, to the fiberglass or the glass, the uh, installation that's in there, to the desk, computers, and human beings that were all disintegrated in that <clears> dust. And this is what we sucked in that went through our nose, yeah. eyes, ears, 
and inside you everything, you know what I mean? That we ate that, you know? And so here we are today with all this stuff in us and still trying to, you know, get the right proper medical care. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on Building 7? Well, again, I was there when the first and second came down and, uh, you know, once that, the main thing we were looking for survivors, people that were still alive. Later on during the day, as the skies were clearing, you know, they were telling us to evacuate, to get back, that the building was going to fall. And uh, I started hearing explosions and stuff and didn't know what it was because nothing came down. There was fires, we knew there were generators in there, so maybe things were blowing up, like the generators or whatever. But as I saw films of it and you see like on the sides, boom, 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 like it was dynamite or something. You know, my, my, my thoughts changed then. You know, maybe they had to take it down for some reason or whatever. But uh, so, do you do you believe the American people have been told the whole story about what exactly so. happened? I don't there? think so. I mean, this this shit really bobbles me today. And you, as a first responder, somebody who lived through it, would you support a new investigation? I would have to because uh, the truth hasn't been told, and uh, you know I can't go to sleep and uh, and I'm not happy with my life at this point unless I know what really went down. Why my brothers and sisters died that day?